Okay, so I'm going to do a quick little video for you. This is my um, little Sony A7R2 with my Voigtlander 40 millimeter. And this is the uh, Voigtlander Nocton um, with a couple adapters for the Sony camera. And so what I have is an adapter. This is a Voigtlander um, VM adapter for the Voigtlander or Leica M mount to the Sony E mount um, full frame. And this is just a solid piece. It's black, just like the lens that's on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, for now, the lens off. We'll just leave the camera sitting like that. So here is the lens. So it's a 40 millimeter 1.4 uh, Voigtlander Nocton uh, Classic with a uh, with a lens cover on it, UV filter. Um, I do have a lens cap. It's a knockoff of the uh, Voigtlander or Leica um, lenses, and um, and that also works. So I don't use that much. It's kind of bulky, seems to be kind of in the way, but I do leave my uh, UV filter on. So I have two adapters. One is the, the Voigtlander. This one was an expensive one. It's made in Japan for E-mount. Again, a Voigtlander, not like, a, like I said in my text. Um, so you can see the Voigtlander here. The other one is just a cheap silver, very thin, plasticky feeling, but it is metal um, adapter. But what this adapter ring does is, so you can see the see that it's flush here. So we can see flush, and then as I bring it up, it raises this up, this area up and out. And it just turns, drops it down, raises it up. It's not a lot. And mostly what this for is what they call a close focus ring or a helico helicon or helicoil. Um, and it just rides on, a, on an angled step that just slides up and down. So there's no gears in it. It just, it just slides on this smooth step that's right here and that's how that works so you mount this up red dot to red dot push it in and you turn it and then this little silver spot here is what locks it into place so you can turn it and then you know just pull that down a little bit and just take it off if you don't pull it down you're not getting it off. It, it locks it into place. And then again, you go from red dot to white dot here. Um, actually, no, red dot, excuse me, red dot to white dot on here, and that just snaps on to the camera. So you can see it doesn't stick out that far. You know, you do have to have an adapter um, for the mirrorless but that's how that works. And then to let it move forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. So you can see it moving forward and back. So that's just like me setting my focus and then just moving the camera forward or backwards. That's all this does. And that way you can do it on your uh, by hand, and the um, 
there's a uh, an adapter that's out there, the one that's electronic that moves it forward and back. Same principle, same type of a slider. It just rotates that, that little motor, and it just moves forward and backwards. There's really no gears on it, and, uh, and that's all it does. And that's all you're focusing anyway when you're, when you're um, doing, doing your focus. So you can see the lens that moves forward and backwards. That's all you're doing anyway. So, um, so this get, gives just a little extra so if you want to do some close focus, because this isn't a very close focus lens. This, this lens, you know, you got to be kind of a ways away in order to focus on it. Um, so this is uh, 0.7 feet, so um, a little less than a foot away. But that means you can't get real close. You kind of got to sit back, sit back a little bit from your setup here. And um, and that's basically it. That's that's really all there is, you know. So this thing just kind of moves forward and backwards by the adapter ring. If you use this adapter, you can't do that. So this one does not give you that extra close focus. And so if you want to do macro work, this just gives you an added little extra. If you don't want to actually stack a bunch of macro rings on it. And that's how it's going to work for you on your uh, Sony cameras. The other benefit that you have on your Sony camera, let me go ahead and turn this on and bring the menu up, and then I'll show you. And let me get this back all the way up here. Yeah, so I'm going to go. Down here, uh, APS-C 35, I've got that turned off. Steady shot settings. So the steady shot settings, you have The ability to go up or down and select whatever you have. So this is 40, so then I select 40. So now I'm 40 millimeters. I have my IBIS or IBS in body image stabilization set. And that gives you the added benefit of the extra um, gimbal action. So you can do some good handheld at a um, little bit slower shutter speeds. I'd still keep the shutter speed at least double what your uh, focal length is. And, um, and that's about it. So you've got an expensive one. They actually have a bunch of these on eBay uh, that are black, look like this, that are like 28 bucks instead of 150 bucks. That's what this damn thing cost. But this one is very precise, it's very nice. This one's good, but it's not super tight but this you, you can't move it around it, this one's locked in and it's cheapo this was like like 12 bucks um, and you can buy these I think you can get them now in black which would match your camera lens so hopefully that helps and we'll um, uh, hopefully one day uh, you can text me back let me know if you get your uh, a7r2 see if you get your Leica sold and then you just uh, Mount your Leica lens to your Sony camera and go for it. So totally manual, um, got the help of uh, focusing, uh, close focus with your close focus button that you can set. Um, you got your video, you can do 4K video, all that good stuff. So right now I'm videoing off my iPhone 10, and I'm also on my A7R 3 and I have an old 1960s um, lens on the camera. It's all manual 28 millimeter. And so I just set it for a focus range. So this should all stay in reasonable focus. And that's it. There you go. And hope you enjoy your Sony because I sure as hell do. Thanks. Bye.